Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am in White Springs, Florida, which is right off the Suwannee River. And today I'm going to start a three day canoe float down the Suwannee River. We'll be doing 10 to 15 miles per day and camping at designated camp spots. We are checking in at the canoe place at nine and then we'll start our float. And we're going to have a huge party on this river. <laughs> We are starting at White Springs at the American Canoe Adventures Outfitter and we're going to end at the Suwannee River State Park Cabin. We start at mile 170 and we're ending at mile 127.7 so math like 45 almost 50 miles. Oh, and we are off. We only have a mile drive to where we put in. <laughs> All right, this is where we are going to put in the canoes and start floating down about 9.48. Look at that water. It's high. Looks like root beer. This is Emmett. Like, As y'all can see, this water see? is so dark. It's so dark. It looks like sweet tea. This is backwards. Yeah, I should have. Uh... I feel like I'm gonna sit in the boat now. The gator's gonna come get me. Maybe it's short. Here we go. Have you canoed before? Yeah, a lot. It is supposed to rainstorm at 2, but we have a short first day, so we should be at camp about that time. Didn't look like it was going to rain earlier, but it definitely does look like something's blowing in now, so we got to get to paddling. Where is my life? You can see where the water's been. The Suwannee is lined with this really pretty limestone rock that you can see. And there's really pretty rock formations all along the river. Caves and stuff like that. <laughs> This is the abandoned spring. The what? The abandoned spring of White Springs. So this used to be a spring tourist attraction and people would come from all over. It was a sulfur spring and they built this building around it and you could swim in the inside, but the whole spring dried up in 1990 and it's just abandoned now. Uh, so here is the inside of the old spring. It still kind of smells like sulfur in here probably still some spring water that comes up, but not enough for there to be like a pool anymore. So this area used to be a few different levels. You can kind of see where those used to be. <laughs> oh. All right, our first stop is at Stephen Foster Park. I'm gonna get out and pee. It's starting to kind of sprinkle. So we're gonna secure some stuff and I'm gonna get like a rain jacket on or something. And me and Tripod are pirates. <laughs> our, our bandanas. Back on the river we go. It is now officially raining. Yay. <laughs> No. Try to get it all. Why did we do this today if we knew it was gonna rain? <laughs> uh, uh. Float the Suwannee River in a canoe. It'll be fun, they said. 
raining cats and dogs out here. We're just uh, paddling along. Can't no do nothing about it. Welcome to Jurassic World. There's the Florida Trail. That's where I hiked last year. Now we're floating the river, so it's kind of cool to see where we hiked on the trail last year and then see how different it looks from the water. This was one of my favorite sections of trail, and if you are considering doing a section of the Florida Trail, I would highly recommend the Suwannee. <laughs> There's a dead armadillo in that tree. That is so sad. I imagine when the waters came up, he just got swept down and got stuck there. Poor guy, RIP. Promise I've been paddling, it's just I can't paddle and video at the same time. Right, tripod? Yes, I've been <laughs> belling out the water, so you've been doing work. <laughs> yeah, we got half a beer can. Had to borrow from the guys. Yeah, there's a bunch of water down there. <laughs> it keeps getting in the boat. <laughs> yeah, but at least the rain has temporarily held off a little bit. We're doing good, have no idea how far in we're at. We are gonna stay at Woods Ferry River Camp. There's supposed to be shelters here, a camp post, showers, the whole nine yards. Excited to get there. Oh, we're here. This is our camp for the night. Woods Ferry River Camp. So we're at the campsite. There's campsites all along this river because it's a national water trail. A lot of people will through kayak this or canoe this, kind of like we do the trails. Um, we're only doing a three-day run, but you can be out here for a couple weeks, take it all the way to the ocean, I believe. All right, we got all of our stuff. We're gonna go all the way up there with all of our stuff. That's real nice, they got the wheelbarrows. Makes life a lot easier. You're good? This is our little trailer. You got a wagon? Look at you go. Yeah. We're gonna load this sucker up. This is our cabin. You can come in, camp here. There's lights, electricity, Ooh, excuse me, fan. Very nice. And everybody's kind of setting up camp. I'm really like wet and cold, so I'm gonna go get the showering out of the way and then get to making dinner. I feel so much better after taking that shower. I'm warm. It's only two o'clock. We got here super early. Now we can just two. I can't hang out. So we were going to build a campfire, but it's supposed to start storming again at four. We heard thunder earlier. So it's kind of too early to make dinner. We're not used to being at camp this early. Normally we're setting up in the dark, night hiking an hour. We're at camp by two. What do you do? <laughs> So I bought a new camping stove for this trip from Walmart. It comes with this piece, this piece. So you put your propane in there, you buy this separate, and then it twists on top. I didn't tell him that's what it, yeah. He probably has <laughs> We 
we got chili and hot dogs. And we were gonna do the hot dogs over the fire, but it's raining and we're hungry and impatient. So we're gonna boil hot dogs. I was just letting them sit to warm up. Yeah, yum. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not far from it. So, dinner, yum. Pretty fire flame. See my baby tonight. So, rock me, mama, like a wagon. Rock me, mama, anyway. Good morning, everybody. Woke up and it is cold. It's in the 40s. Temperature dropped really quickly. Getting all of our stuff packed up, get the boats back in the water and get to paddling. Got about 18 miles to do today to the next campsite. We are gonna stop at Horton's campsite, which is a paddling campsite that we actually stayed at last year on the Florida Trail. Unfortunately, when the hurricane came through this past year, it destroyed most of that campground. So they don't have power, they don't have trash, they don't have bathrooms, they don't have really anything. I think they have four of the same kind of little cabins that we stayed in last night. The good news is it's gonna be really warm today, sunny, so no rain. By Woods Ferry River Camp. We're off on day two. <laughs> we decided to take a little break on this beach. And this is a pretty little place to pull off. I think the trail's up here. I'm on the Florida Trail! Sweet. It goes right through this. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is what Tribod got out and wrote on the beach at Kelly Hayes Hikes. <laughs> All right, Sprinkles and I are swapping. I'm going to be in the kayak and she's going to do some canoe life. What is this? What's a life without dedication? It was kind of nice to get best of both worlds. The canoe's like really chill. You're just kind of floating. And then the kayak, you know, you do have to do a little bit more work, but you're a lot more flexible as far as like where you can go and explore. Thank you. 
There's the G spot gazebo. We just got off here and there are some springs up here. It's like a little path where you can go check out the spring. This is Suwanee Springs. There used to be a spring house here established around the time of the Civil War. People used to think that these were healing spring water. There used to be four wooden hotels here in the 1920s. A bathhouse. I guess all of the hotels burned down, the last one in 1925. It's really crazy. Feels really good to be walking. Parked our boats down by the spring. And we are walking to a gas station that's just a little up the road. I really needed to get some stuff uploaded to YouTube and the gas station ended up having Wi-Fi. It's times like these I'm really happy I have a VPN. And I would like to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. A VPN can protect your online identity by encrypting the information sent between your device and the internet. As y'all know, I travel a lot and I am planning a six month through hike this summer, which means I'm gonna be editing all my videos on my phone and uploading them off my phone using random public Wi-Fi's or any internet connection that I can find. Connecting your devices to public networks can put you at risk for people spying on your data, malware, and phishing. But you don't have to worry because Surfshark can protect you from all of it and that's why I've been using Surfshark for the past two years. Not only does it give me peace of mind connecting to public Wi-Fi, but it's also helped me save money on flights. For example, I'm getting ready to book my flight for my next through hike, announcement on that coming soon. But normally companies can see that you're looking for flights and they're gonna jack up their prices. I think this has probably happened to all of us. But if you turn on your VPN, the flight companies can't track you and you get a lower ticket price. So if you wanna upgrade your security game with a VPN, Surfshark is a great option. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk in trying it and you can use my code hikes for three months completely free and now back to our adventure right here on the end of the swanee canoe outpost anybody want to no. bite of this lava tail? <laughs> i like it here you go question mm. what do you deserve and is also a type of bagel everything <laughs> oh that was quick yeah she knows her worst oh this one <laughs> What's clever and can fit in your hand? Don't think. <laughs> nah, I know. I'm not saying. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is the question? She can't get her mind. That's why I joke you're allowed to tell drive by. <laughs> we just ate time. lunch. It was a classic gas station lunch. I feel a little gross after eating that, but anyway, we're gonna get back on the river. We got like 10 miles left. We thought we had seven, somebody else thought we had nine, somebody thought we had 12, so we don't really know. But we're gonna just paddle, paddle, paddle along. We'll get there when we get there. Boats are still here. We had a nice little picnic at the Suwannee Springs, so that was fun. But now we got to get back to work. There's the graffiti bridge. We walked across that on the Florida Trail. We've been enjoying seeing all the cool houses on the river and check out this tree house. That is so cool. Look at that thing. I want to stay there. Get my feet wet. Oh, You're man. higher. Woo! We made it! Hey, two down! <laughs> We're at Holton uh, Creek campsite. We'll see what the damage is. <laughs> I'm so happy to be on land. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the energy that I feel right now. Yeah. <laughs> Go run around, chase around. 
Oh boy, it's a uh, sleep back here. Let's see what the situation is. Definitely looks like damage has been done here from the hurricane. But for the most part, everything is still pretty decently intact. We don't get our fancy wheelbarrows to haul our stuff up here, but um, there are plenty of spots for us to camp. But this, this one's destroyed. Oh, wow, look at the bathrooms. Oh, this is so sad. All right, here's our home for the night. We're gonna make hot dogs over the fire, so I found a stick and I'm gonna turn it into a skewer. Oh. <laughs> I'm good, thank you though. I ain't cold yet. It, um, smoke bubbles. <laughs> Next, we roast a hot dog over the fire. Hey, Emmett, I don't have any hot dogs for you. She's some kind of wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't work for something wrong. You have. I, I saw her later. Yeah. I wish I would have brought some more stuff. <laughs> oh, no, that's not burnt enough. Oh, wait, that side is. It's pretty black. Well, actually, I think I might just eat it. So it's 20 miles or whatever. Oh, so you Pat, Cajon, Pat. They were day two, that was day one. They like, talk about Oasis like. So I, so I met them at the beginning. They were in my hot dog with fire, but we gotta go check the potatoes that have been boiling. They might just be ready. Yay! They're purple potatoes, so they look a little odd, but. It's a potato? <laughs> Say potato. Oh, is it a potato? <laughs> is it? What does it taste like? A potato? <laughs> it tastes like a potato. Yeah, it's a potato. I got sour cream and butter. First time doing this. <laughs> it doesn't really go with sweet potato, but it does for me. Yeah, but... <laughs> Ew, it's crunchy. <laughs> It's not even like who wants to pass the ox. It's like I like the ravioli too. That, <laughs> that's a different color. <laughs> Don't judge anybody. It was like red velvet cake or something. It's honestly fire. <laughs> it's so There's good. Some cheese. I'm eating a hot dog. I'm just trying to respect. It's a mini PCT. <laughs> no, I cannot go there. Tree is is a, is a thrill. Oh, he loves it. Yeah, it's, it's... You want to play? You want to play? Good boy. Hmm, you a good boy. I'm going to make attempt to make some homemade donuts for everybody. So we're going to start out with some oil. Pour it in here. I guess we'll do all of it. So on here to warm up. For the donuts, I'm just gonna take biscuits, cinnamon, sugar. All right, gotta open the biscuits. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, yes. Take a biscuit. I'm going to flatten it like this and then like poke a hole in the middle. And when the oil gets hot, I'll drop that in there I don't know if these are gonna work. Never done them before, but we shall try. Starting to get browned. <laughs> 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 
Let me show you guys. Here's the homemade donuts. They look pretty good. Look, I gotta try one. Bro, everybody come get a donut. Oh, hot, but we're going. Get them while they're hot. Oh, they're so pretty. Come and try it. Come and it's too much. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> so good. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, these look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> frying donuts. Thank you. Thank you. It was uh, in hell in the yeah. Yeah. Like, You're not one of us. Well, she she goes through, and you see him with like these crazy oh. hats. Oh, time to log everything back down to the boats. On the fire, so go. We said we were gonna get out at eight, but it was so cold this morning. It got down in the 30s. I stayed warm with my 30 degree Z packs sleeping bag. I'm not sure how many miles that we have to the end. <laughs> no one died, no, no one tipped. flipped. We made it to the no Swanee tipped. River Park. Now we just gotta get all our stuff out and wait for our ride. That was awesome. We did about 13.4 miles today to Swanee Springs River Park. And this is where the canoeing company will come pick us back up. That was an awesome adventure. Thank you guys so much for coming along with. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye.